Samsung just surprised everyone. The long wait for One UI 8 is finally over, and the rollout dates are here. But this schedule is full of twists you weren't expecting, and some devices are getting the update much sooner, or much later, than anyone predicted. There are even a few shocking omissions that might leave some users frustrated. We're going to break it all down, wave by wave, and talk about what these dates really mean for your phone, your tablet, and even your Galaxy Watch. Welcome back. Viewers, JAM is here. If you're new, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the latest Samsung news and hidden features I dig up every week. All right, let's dive in. So here's the wild part. Samsung's plan doesn't just push out one UI 8 to the Galaxy S25 lineup first. It's starting September 18th, which was earlier than most insiders were betting on. That means the S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra are about to get the final stable update just days from now. But there's a twist. The S25 Edge didn't make the cut for the first wave. Instead, it's showing up a week later, on September 25th, alongside the entire Galaxy S24 family, including the S24 FE. It's rare for a newer device to be pushed to wave two, but that late May launch without a beta probably explains it. Here's where it gets more interesting. S23 users, you'll have to wait until October 2nd. That means Samsung is prioritizing its two newest flagship families over everything else, and that could signal how they're planning future updates. The S22 series follows on October 6th, which isn't too bad considering it's two generations old. But there's a bit of confusion with the S21 FE date. Some sources say October 2nd, others October 6th. So watch for an official confirmation before marking your calendar. Foldable fans, brace yourselves. Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 users are next in line starting October 2nd, but Fold 5 and Flip 5 users have to wait until October 13th. That delay is going to sting for those who bought the 2023 models, especially since the S24 gets the update almost two weeks earlier. Fold 4 and Flip 4 are showing an October 6 target, so at least the gap isn't too wide. And it's not just the flagships, Samsung is rolling out One UI 8 to the A series as well, with the A56 and A36 joining the September 25th wave. The more budget-friendly A35 and A34 are coming at the very end of October, right around Halloween, fitting for those who've been haunting the software update page for weeks now. A17 and A16 are early October candidates, and the M series plus X cover devices are getting pushed to November, with some even later. If you own an X Cover 7 Pro, November 10th is your day, so patience is key. But here's a surprise. Samsung's tablet users are getting treated early this time. The Tab S10 lineup is first on October 1st, almost at the same time as the S25 series, which is incredibly fast for tablets. Tab S10 FE models will follow a little over a week later, with the Tab A9 waiting until early November. And don't forget the wearables. Watch 7, Watch 6 Classic, Watch 6, and Watch FE all get the One UI 8 Watch update on October 1st, with Watch 5 and Watch 4 owners getting it in early November. That's going to make Samsung's entire ecosystem feel fresh all at once. This schedule shows that Samsung isn't just pushing out an update. They're orchestrating a rollout that keeps their newest devices feeling like a priority while still supporting older hardware in a timely way. And that raises an interesting question, is this the new normal for Samsung updates? Faster for flagships, staggered for foldables, and only slightly delayed for budget devices. If so, that's a huge win for people who upgrade every few years. The big takeaway here, September and October are gonna be packed months for Galaxy owners. Whether you're rocking an S25 Ultra or a Medrange A34, One UI 8 is coming, and with it, all those new Android 16 features plus Samsung's own extras like AI upgrades, better widgets, and smarter multitasking. And I want to hear from you. Which device are you using? And are you in the first wave or the last? Drop your model name in the comments, and let's see which phones are most hyped for this rollout. All right? That's the full breakdown of Samsung's One UI 8 rollout plan. If you found this helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you're the first to know when Samsung sneaks in surprise updates or new beta builds. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video where we're diving into the hidden features of One UI Ain't you haven't discovered yet. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss it.